today we're going to talk about, it's sort of a dynamic, when you're your own business and you don't have scheduled like 9 to 5 hours or maybe mm -hmm. a set schedule, it can be difficult to figure out when you're working and when to take a break and to mm -hmm. build that in. And we so, don't have vacation time, like we don't get two right. weeks off, so what do we do? Yeah, and so we wanted to talk a little bit about taking time off. How do you build in rest? And that's really important to your productivity, it's mm -hmm. important to your work, and I think especially in the creative fields, you need that time away from it because your brain needs to unwind yes. and your body needs to unwind and yes. just need time to process things. So let's talk a little bit about building rest into your schedule. So sure. what are some ways that you put rest in your schedule? I mean, How do you do that? it sounds old school, but there's a reason there's a Sabbath, so I call it taking my Sabbath and I take a whole day off. And it could mean, maybe I go for a run, maybe I go for, uh, I don't know, go kayaking in the park or something like that, but it's some way that I can unwind. I mean, sometimes I wash my car just to like unwind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And setting sa aside one day is so helpful, but then sometimes you need more than that. Yes. So what do yeah. we do for that? <laughs> run away. <laughs> yeah, run away. Run away. Go to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, because I agree. For me, it's really helpful to like set that boundary to say, this day I am not working. I'm not allowed to do projects, and I may want to, but it really helps me be more productive. But there are times where I just need longer. Yeah. Um, so sometimes I just hide. I don't go places, <laughs> and I like watch a lot of TV or something. Mm -hmm. That helps me unwind um, to do that or to go on a trip can be helpful or go away away because my work is so wrapped up in where I live mm -hmm. I have to go somewhere else to feel really separated mm -hmm. from it that makes sense um, so that can be helpful to just like my sister's been great and lets me crash at her place and so mm -hmm. I can get away and it feels like a break mm -hmm. from from working and if you can't take a vacation well my apartment's a mess right now but ideally I like to keep all of my work at the table, and then if I sit on the couch, that is where I'm relaxed and I can unwind, but like I said, right now, things are a little messy, so yeah. I can't find my table <laughs> <laughs> under the stack of papers, right. but if you can separate it like that, maybe you have one room that you go into mm -hmm. and you do work, and then if you take a break, or say, you know, at 6 o'clock, I'm done, like, don't work yourself till midnight, that's a way. Yeah, do it too. I really think like designating space is helpful if you can do that. It's helpful mm -hmm. for me. I have a little cabin that I can go, and there I like to do like movement or go over lines, and I go up there, and that's where I do it. And then I don't bring that other places, and so that helps me separate and have a designated spot to do it. Um, and then you can even, like you said, separate places where you live. So the table is where I do work. Yes. Or, different spots in the house that this is my work spot and mm -hmm. I'll get things done and this is where I rest or play. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think, I mean, they talk, lots of different resources talk about taking breaks. So mm -hmm. just working all the time actually doesn't help your work get better. Right. Especially, I feel like, as artists. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're not lazy. We're just, well, we're kind of saying, like, we have manic phases. Yes. <laughs> and then we have periods where we just need to relax. Yeah. And I... Sometimes creativity just has to come to you. You can't always squeeze it out of yourself. Mm. So I, I really think that's why rest is important. And yeah. one day a week is important. And then sometimes take a week out of every year or mm. do a weekend trip. Or if it's as simple as just stopping at 6 o'clock every day so you don't overwork yourself and be exhausted every week. I don't know yeah. if that makes sense. Because it's easy to just work all the time. I yes. realize that. Like, I wake up, I send emails. That's work. Like, yeah. I'm not really in my relaxed state. Yeah. So I try not to touch the emails till after I've, like, enjoyed a little bit of the morning. Or Sarah's quite the opposite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she'll enjoy the evening. <laughs> the evening spot, yeah. yeah. So finding that. And some, like you said, it can be really hard for me sometimes to stop and mm -hmm. to rest and so getting away is really helpful for me to do that because I'm like, oh, I have so much to do because mm -hmm. there is always so much you're working on, at least for me, you're thinking through. Mm -hmm. um, but I find that when I take a break, I'm better at my work. 
Right. If I take, I go for a run, and then I'm like, oh, I just solved all those problems in the script because <laughs> I went <laughs> for a run. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. So I, it really helps to do those things or watching a movie, and then I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my brain worked out that problem mm-hmm. and figured something out. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have ideas about how to take a break or rest or enjoy things, let us know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find us again on YouTube. Subscribe. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, amike.org. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Bye.